it's certainly difficult to be away from all the folks that you work with day to day. You know, it's kind of like a family. This is a company that talks about its people first. It talks about values. It talks about really, really caring. That is true. When you look at the, the number of things we were able to accomplish in a pretty short period of time, it's, it's a testament to all the skills and passion at all levels of the company. The first case of a new potentially deadly virus has been confirmed in the United States, and it's right in our own backyard. Given the explosion of the COVID-19 virus in our state and globally, I will sign a statewide executive proclamation later today temporarily shutting down restaurants, bars, entertainment, and recreational facilities. Well, it really started for us back in February when we were starting to hear early stages about the global pandemic. We went from, first time I'd ever heard the phrase social distancing before, to the entire studio working from home in a matter of a couple of weeks. It was scary. It was kind of chaotic a lot of uncertainty. We had to rise to this challenge and go from a studio all working in person day to day to working distributed all over the Puget Sound region. We developed a five phase plan driven by five priorities and the top priority for us was employee safety. So very quickly it was developing a plan so we could get our employees working remotely and also ensuring that the day-to-day -day experience of playing Destiny was available for all of our players. Is there anything confusing or unclear so far? No, so far everything has been very clear. Something that's very particular about Destiny is that we do work on Bungie machines to make sure that we keep certain aspects of Destiny secure and so in order to do that, we had to look at provisioning up to 400 laptops, which was a huge number for us. We have artists, we have designers, we have writers, we have engineers, testers. There's so many different workflows that require specific technology. It's done. Background here, got a little uh, microphone set up so that I can uh, record some uh, new stuff for Destiny. IT was the one getting burdened the most. Everybody who was working from home had basically one avenue that they understood, which was put in a ticket and our queues just blew out of control. Normally our ticket workload for a month is between seven and 800 tickets. And in March, it was 1,400 tickets. The IT team was incredible through this. I mean, it was one of those moments where a, a team that's you know often behind the scenes suddenly came front and center. Our guys, they're willing to stay all through the night and not a complaint out of a single guy. I mean, it's the best team I've ever worked with and I could not be prouder to stand by their sides. You got it. <laughs> As we started to get in a position where we were operational day to day, we, we asked ourselves, well, what can we do locally? The Bungie Foundation has been really busy, hard at work, and we wanted to make sure that our families, especially the most vulnerable families in our community, would be able to be taken care of in that time. So we asked ourselves, well, what can we do for kids in the area? So we, we actually partnered with Boys and Girls Club in the area to help provide food for kids who were no longer going to school. They are serving about 500 meals per day. And at this point, since, since the middle of March, that actually equates to about 30,000 meals that they provided for families in, in, uh, in the Bellevue community. Bungie Foundation, thank you. Thank you, Bungie Foundation. It's incredible stuff, but being able to use our infrastructure to support that. And then, of course, the huge effort with Direct Relief. We partnered with Direct Relief, and we wanted to find a way to support those who have been probably some of the most hardest hit in this pandemic, which are our frontline healthcare workers. So we spun up a month-long fundraiser, and we set a goal of $700,000 to be raised in that period of time, and we've already reached our goal, which is really exciting. One thing that's really become clear to me is how much we're all driven by that mission of we create worlds that inspire friendship. And I think it also says something about how much everyone cares about each other here. The fact that they are willing to put their money where their mouth is to support the quality of life of the individuals that work for the studio. I think Bungie is amazing. I look at the situation that other people are in. People are getting laid off, can't pay their bills. Bungie's made this commitment to each one of us. I want to say thank you to the entire studio because I had the great privilege to be part of this awesome team and this awesome company. And I just, I 
I can't say enough about that. The thing that I've learned the most from this is doing the right thing and prioritizing people's health and well-being has a rippling effect. I think that we'll see that in the game, and I think we'll see that in the community for years to come.